In this video I'll show you how to do what we call a flow coat which is basically rubbing the panel down and re-clearing it to make it very shiny and it will look very nice and flat you won't have much orange peel left after this is done so the prep work's already been done to prepare it I've basically buzzed it down with a Dynabraid sander or an orbital sander 600 grit and then gone around the edges with some grey scotch bright on a pad and then put it in the booth wiped it all down with a degreasing solvent or wax and grease remover then as you saw I wiped it down with a yellow tack rag which should remove any further little bits of dust and now I've started applying the clear so with the first coat you don't need to put it on too wet it's just so that it's closed up so that you can't see through to the panel anymore so that you've got a full closed coat of clear over the whole panel In between coats, you may want to wait for five minutes to allow it to tack off, depending on the weather and the hardener used. But for a panel this size, you'd probably want to use a medium hardener because it can start to dry on you as you're painting if you use a fast hardener. So here's our second coat. You'll notice that I go a lot slower. I'm actually going to use a lot more material and I'll probably put the gun a little bit closer to the panel too. And you really want to get it on nice and wet on this coat. Have the fluid wound right out so it's about to fall out. Pressure up at about 2 bar or 30 psi. And you can see that the from where I start to where I finish halfway through, it's a nice even stroke. So I'm not, sometimes you see apprentices do it and I'll get to the middle and they're, they're nearly on a 45 degree angle and it's just going to make that it's uh, patchy and it's not even so you can notice when by the time I get to the middle it's still one even line across the panel for this job I've probably used about one litre of clear just on this one panel because we're trying to achieve the highest amount of gloss that we can and make it look basically like a mirror so being that we've sanded it down and then re-cleared it that will allow us to get rid of any of the orange peel and it will basically make it look like a mirror so you've got about three coats of clear over the top of your base coat After the job's done, we'll take it out the back and give it a D-nib, what we call a D-nib. So if you get any little bits of dust that do land in the job, you can take it into the detailing bay, D-nib it and polish it up. Keep an eye out, I'll be uploading some videos on how to do that in the f near future. As you can see the gloss levels are great, there's no orange peel in it, the customer should be wrapped when he picks his car up. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel if you like it, go and check me out on Facebook and keep an eye out for the next videos.